Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of Things We Bought Yesterday and Today. Tom here, and um, you know, I've taken a little bit of break of doing these videos, but I'm back and things have been accumulating, and I'm like, okay, time to get off your lazy butt and uh, do a video. I'm only going to do half of what I have to show with this one. I don't want to make these videos too long, and um, maybe in a week or two I'll do uh, the next video. Um, until then, here's uh, uh, th this video is going to be pretty much all LPs um, all from, from around the world. So really excited to show you uh, these items. First up is uh, a copy of Ram. And uh, this is from Taiwan, this is a Taiwanese pressing of Ram. Now I've also got uh, Wildlife and McCartan. Uh, so glad to continue uh, collecting these records. Um, they sound they sound fine. Uh, you know, I was pleased with the McCartney and the Wildlife. So hopefully, uh, this album will sound will sound well also. Um, uh, but like I said, it's 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 um, really different. I mean, look, it's kind of like almost new, newspaperish. Uh, in a way, and um, you know how they were able to get away with, you know, changing the album cover a bit from the uh, from the you know releases everywhere else is is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I like it. I like how you know the yellow background. Um, so yeah, there it is. I'll show the label. I I do like the labels on these releases. So, uh, but there you go. Okay. All right, so that's Ram, that's the Taiwanese pressing. And speaking of from around the world, I also got a Japanese uh, pressing of Ram. Okay. Gatefold here. And these are a little, little flimsier than like the U US or UK uh, releases. But nice nonetheless. Okay, I'm sure a bunch of you uh, probably have these, uh, a lot of these Japanese pressings. I mean, with, you know, the Obi strip obviously is, is one of the cool things about them. But there's the, uh, the label. Okay. So that's Ram. And sticking with Japanese pressings, here is Red Rose Speedway. Okay. Now obviously it doesn't have the, the Braille written on the back like the... Uh, like the ones here do. All right, if you know what, I'm sure everybody knows what 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 it says. Uh, but uh, yeah, another gatefold. Okay, now the uh, the booklet that's usually glued to the inner sleeve is not glued. Okay, and then it does come with a second uh, booklet, but that's pretty much all in in Japanese. All right, there's that, and I'll just show you. Label real quick. All right, there you go. Okay, next up, uh, where are we going uh, in the world this time? Uh, here we've got a Wings at the Speed of Sound. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little darker than the normal uh, copies here, and this one is a gatefold. Okay, where could this be from? This is from Venezuela. Okay, and here is the vinyl, the EMI uh, label. Now, I haven't listened to this, and um, I've got another one I'm going to show here in a second. Uh, so if you do have a, uh, any of McCartney's stuff from Venezuela, and uh, let me know uh, what you think. Okay. Now I've got another oh, Wings at the Speed of Sound here. All right. Now, what do you say? What's so special about this one? Well, this one is the orange uh, vinyl. Okay. I'm going back and getting all the, the, the reissues of color vinyl. And I think the last one I need to get is the Ram uh, one. So there's that. Okay. Kind of translucent. Kind of not. But uh, you can, you know, just barely see through it. But um, that's nice. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, next up, we've got a couple of the 12-inch singles. Okay. Uh, first up is uh, Waterfalls. 
uh, again, uh, this is from another area in the world, and this is a Brazil uh, pressing of waterfalls. Um, I don't think I think that's one of the only few places that released a 12-inch uh, uh, version of this. Okay, really dark. Here, I'll bring it out so you can get a closer look at the label. Okay, there you go. I like that. I grabbed, as soon as I saw that, I picked that up right away. Uh, sticking with the 12 inch singles is one of the last few that I needed to pick up, and it is Only Love Remains. Okay, so that is the A side. The B side is Tough on a Tightrope and Talk More Talk. Okay, uh, the, uh, the, um, Tough on a Tightrope is the seven minute version. It's remixed by Julian Mendelssohn, who we've talked to before, uh, we've interviewed, and the um, and the Talk More Talk is remixed by Paul and John Jacobs. Okay, so there you go. Only Love Remains. There's the back. Nice picture of Paulie there. Okay, I'll show you the, the Parlophone label. Okay. Moving along, I told you I got a, I had another uh, copy of a Venezuelan record, and this one is Flowers in the Dirt. Okay. Um, again, it's, it looks a little darker. Um, don't know if that's intentional. But a little bit of a pain in the butt here getting this sucker out. So just try to be really careful here. You know, not to scratch it or anything like that, but it's the same kind of label as the uh, Wings at the Speed of Sound. Okay. And I think this is uh, was just promotional, uh, promotional copy. All right. Now, the last three things I'm going to show you have to deal with uh, McCartney's classical work. Now, I know that's not an area that a lot of people are a fan of. I know some people have given it a shot. Uh, don't really care for it. There's, I know the classic. There's not a lot of classical fans out there, but I really wish a lot of people would give it an, another chance or or just give it a, a first listen at that. You know, and I I, I think they'll be you'll you'll find to be pleasantly uh, surprised, pleasantly pleased that uh, this is some really good stuff. And uh, first up is the Liverpool Oratorio. Uh, you can see it's uh, promotional use only. And, um, you know, if, if you're a collector out there and if you want to get all of Paul's stuff on vinyl, the classical stuff, that is going to be the hardest stuff to, to find. And uh, it will be a pretty penny uh, for sure. So I'm going to be trying to be careful here and, and open it up for you and show you. Okay. Got a nice little piece here. That's going to be a pain in the butt to grab. All right, a little card here with the MPL logo on it. All right, so and then inside you got the two, two vinyl. And I love these labels here. All right, I'll just show one of these and I'll throw it back. There you go. Okay. Love that label. Very cool. All right. So that's... Uh, Liverpool Oratorio. Uh, next is another piece I just I think is brilliant, and I really wish pe more people would uh, would listen to it. Now these this one and the Liverpool Oratorio we um, we interviewed uh, author Alan Cozen, who is uh, part of the Things We Said Today podcast, and he's also working on that that uh, McCartney Legacy with Adrian Sinclair coming out uh, towards the end of the year, and uh, he's also a classical. Um, a reviewer, you know, he, he writes for the New York Times, or he did write for the New York Times, um, you know, reviewing classical work, and he still does as, as, as a freelancer as well. But um, we had him on talking about these two uh, works, and we'll have him on in the future to talk about, you know, more of McCartney's classical work. But this is here is Standing Stone. As you can see here, again, it's kind of like in a little box here. So we'll try to be careful here opening up okay and you have uh, again um, two it's a two record set again okay so I'm gonna set this down and I will show you one of them 
Again, I really like this one a lot. Um, okay, I love the label there. All right. Definitely recommend checking that one out. Now, the one I would recommend, if you're like kind of like on the fence of, of checking out his classical work, the one I would recommend is the last one I got here to show you, and that's uh, Working Classical. Now, the, why would I recommend this one to you? Well, because the pieces are smaller, and there's a lot of familiar songs on here. Um, just, you know, for you to, to just take it in. Uh, you got Junk, you got uh, Warm and Beautiful, My Love, Maybe I'm Amazed, Calico Skies, Golden Earth Girl, uh, Someday, Some Days, uh, She's My Baby, Lovely Linda, okay? So, a lot of familiar stuff on there, and, uh, you know, again, a beautiful record, um, beautiful sound, uh, you know, sounding, the, the work is, is done wonderfully on this record, and I think uh, people will, en will enjoy it. Again, they're shorter pieces. Um, so it's not asking a lot for you to listen to like a 12, 13, 14 uh, minute piece like uh, some of the stuff on Standing Stone and uh, Liver Liverpool Oratorio. And uh, again, there's the label. Okay. Uh, these are all on CD as well. Um, you know, so if you want to check them out on CD first or even on YouTube, uh, you know, go there and, ch and check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, also, if you want us to continue doing these videos, please let us know in the comment section. Do you like um, do you, um, you know, uh, do you like us showing you uh, old stuff and, and new stuff? So we'd uh, appreciate the feedback. Okay, so that's working classical. All right, well that's it for this video, and um, I'll be back in in a week or two to uh, show you some some other goodies. Okay, I got some nice cool so a little promotional piece. Uh, a VHS cassette, uh, some regular cassettes, some 45s, and I uh, look forward to uh, showing you guys all that stuff. So I will talk to you soon. Take care.